Hello, it's Adrian from Accuracy. I just wanted to show you this nice little adapter. Now, this is one of the unique features of Accuracy in that we can use the SIM wirelessly. We're not limited to using buddy box leads and USB connections and all that sort of stuff. So, really, really simple. Grab a receiver, spare receiver you've got flowing around. This is a Futaba S Bus receiver. If you're a Futaba user, you don't have to spend 60 quid on a receiver. Uh, FR Sky do a bunch of S Bus, fast S Bus compatible receivers for about a third the price. Um, pretty much every transmitter manufacturer out there at the moment has some sort of serial connection. Now if you're a quad, if you're a quad guy you'll know this because almost every quad now is using serial RX's rather than separate channels out of the RX into the flight controller. So it's, it's exactly the same principle. You plug it in and then all you do, you plug that straight into the dongle and set it up in the uh, in, in the uh, in the simulator, like this. Okay, so I'm in the simulator now. Got me gobbling up. How do I set up the transmitter? So, if you when you first install the the, uh, the simulator, it will actually take you straight to the transmitter config menu. But in this case, I've already set it up, so I'm going to hit the home menu and then I'm going to hit the TX configuration and that brings us here. So, transmitter make. Now this is just the, uh, the, the, the sequence of what the SIM is looking for in terms of um, sequence of channels. So, you know, JR for instance has uh, throttle and then aileron elevator rudder and Futaba has aileron elevator throttle rudder, one, two, three, four. So, and then, you know, FR Sky is pretty much the same as uh, JR, Spectrum the same as JR. Um, if you are using Spectrum, then there is a, actually a slightly different um, adapter you need to use, which has got the uh, satellite connector on it rather than the, um, uh, rather than the, the servo connector. And uh, then you just, so, you select your transmitter that you're using, and then you need to set the type of receiver you are using. So. If you have a FR Sky PPM receiver or any of those kind of the, the older style of, of devices, you select some PPM. Uh, S Bus works with the, uh, High Tech has an S Bus receiver. Um, FR Sky obviously, Futaba, um, and I think there's another one as well that's got an S Bus, but I can't remember who it is. Um, and then we've got the two versions of the DSM and DSM X spectrum satellites and in th that's what that's one of the that's those four are the ones we're interested in here so I'm using a Futaba S bus receiver so I click on the S bus and then I'm gonna switch my transmitter on and as you can see it now works perfectly okay so um, it's worth doing a calibrate after plugging it in just to get your your, your endpoints and so it saves you messing around with endpoints and subtrims and stuff in the radio. Just go for calibrate, um, um, and that is pretty much it. Thank you very much. Bye.